Hey folks, Junior DeBoss here, coming at you with another World of Warcraft video. And today, we're going to be talking about the Pocket Fell Spreader Farm. Now folks, I don't know if this is going to actually be fixed or not, but we're going to go ahead and make the video anyway, and I'll put in the comments and in the title if it ever gets hot fixed or anything like that. So again, like I said, we're going to be talking about the pocket fell spreader and what it takes to actually farm and get as many as you can before they actually hot fix it so it's real simple folks the add-on that you need is called pre-made group finder uh, you can get that on curse and i'll put a link down in the description below so this is the first thing you need to do folks is take these keywords right here and enter them in here you have to put them in individually it doesn't take long at all and that's it. This screen, it's done. Now as far as the settings are concerned, you want to have these exactly like this here, except for I have it disabled right now so that I don't get the cues while I'm making this video. And again, also over here, you want to make sure that the refresh rate is set to one second. It's quicker, it doesn't bog down the system, and I haven't been kicked for having it at one second either. Um, also, you want to make sure that if you can sign up as a healer, do it. A druid, a monk, doesn't matter if you're in that spec or not, queue for all of them. Doesn't matter. On my warrior, DPS tank, even though I'm in my tank spec, doesn't matter. Uh, if Whatever class you are, make sure that if you can do them, those are the ones you check. Do not check them all, because if you are on a non-healer, the queue will not work properly for you. So once you've done that, folks, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is enable it, and I'll go ahead and do an enabler real quick. And that's it. As you can see, Dread is up. We're going to go ahead and accept that real quick. Let's see if we can look at our map here. And this is what you're going to do, folks. You're just going to look at your map, see where everyone is going. And sometimes you do get trolls, folks. So if you do get a troll, as you can see, it's probably either already killed or it's a troll. People are already leaving. Looks like it's already done. You just leave group, folks. That's it. The queue puts you back in there automatically. You do not want to accept any of the ones that say farm. So this says toy group. It's not up. We're farming. So you don't want to do that one. So you're going to decline it, right? I think I declined the wrong one, but that's okay. <laughs> so any of the ones that say farming or farm, just go ahead and skip. There's no real need to actually keep them going you do not want to be in a farm group you actually just want to let other people farm and you're good to go all right now also folks the one thing that you want to be aware of is that people will turn into a dreadlord so you'll probably get groups where they'll say dreadlord is up you'll get there you'll start killing them and then you'll realize that they're just a player uh, that happens a lot. People are in the mood to troll. So, unfortunately, you only have those options. You really have to wait until someone is actually honest that says, hey, Dreadlord is up, and they're not actually trolling. Unfortunately, people are in the mood to troll, and that's just the way it is, especially the people that know that you're using the add-on. <laughs> then they're really going to troll. So that's about it, folks. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care. See you in the next one. And bye. And there we go, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. You can also hit me up on Twitter at TV. If you have more time, check out my last video by clicking here. And Junior Boss out.